I love true life adventure stories. And one I just discovered, it's a few years old, but it's still a great book. It's called The Floor of Heaven. It's by Howard Blum. Uh, this book is about the last American frontier. It's about three Americans who, at the end of the 1880s, 1890s, head up to Alaska to find the last American adventures. The first is Charlie Seringo. Charlie Seringo was a cowboy who turned into a Pinkerton detective and ended up going off on all kinds of adventures in Alaska to try to hunt down some of the criminals who were up there. The second character is George Carmack. Carmack was the guy who discovered gold on the Klondike, and he went through all kinds of crazy outdoor adventures on his way to discover the gold, to dig it out of the ground, and then to get it back to civilization safely. And then on the other side of the law, the third gentleman that's discussed in this book is Soapy Smith. Soapy Smith was a larger-than-life con man who worked out of Denver, out of Seattle, and then ultimately out of Skagway, Alaska. And that's where this story ends, where all three of these characters converge as Carmack tries to get his gold out of the Yukon. Soapy Smith and his gang try to capture his gold, and Seringo tries to capture a runaway criminal and in the process finds himself trying to work against Soapy's gang and help out Carmack who helped save his hand at one point. This book has everything. It's got adventure, it's got mystery, it's got history, and the true life stories of things that happen to people are bigger than anything that I've seen in any adventure novel. So that's The Floor of Heaven by Howard Blum.